Yo, what's going on guys? Today I was going to be talking about Uber. Uh, I've been doing Uber Eats for about four or five months now. And uh, I got to say, I'm really happy with it. It's been a really consistent full-time job. And uh, I was going to show you today uh, how much money that I've been making every week. Um, this, this, The money that I've been making, actually, like I feel like I've been slacking off. <laughs> because I could make a lot more money if I really invested a lot more time into it. But since I do have a YouTube channel and um, I do try to like cover that as well as my fiance's YouTube channel, I'm trying really hard to like work on all these things at once. And that's the beauty of Uber is that you can work whenever the hell you want. So you don't have to worry about being there nine to five and being stuck in your job. And, um, you know, you just work it. So uh, let me show you my earnings. So this is last week's earnings. I worked for 35 hours. I don't know if you can see this like this. If if it looks blurry or anything, then I will just post it on the screen. But uh, that's last week. I uh, I worked for 35 hours, did 53 trips, and made a hundred, uh, $427.63. So I feel like that was a pretty successful week. It wasn't too bad. Um, my goal is to make close to $500 or even $500 like on the dot. That's what I would ultimately like to do. But these weeks, these past few weeks have been kind of terrible because it's just been really slow and inconsistent. So it all depends on the time that you really want to go in and start working. My schedule is always, I'll start working usually at 11, 11 uh, a.m. 11 a.m. is like lunchtime. That's when lunch starts. That's like the, the bulk of it. Stay working un until about three. Then I use, sometimes I call it quits. Um, other times I'll just keep going like today. It's 4 o'clock right now 4 p.m I'm just gonna keep working until it's time to go pick up my fiance at her job and um, She gets out of work at 8 30 ish 8 30 p.m. So I'm gonna keep working until then uh, So that was last week. Uh, this is the week but prior to that four hundred and forty four dollars and um, It's about the same time 35 hours. I, I did about the same time all right, so it's the end of the day, and I just wanted to show you guys a progress report of what actually happened today. Uh, today was really freaking slow, and I spent a lot of time just kind of sitting around in the parking lot. But uh, this is how, mu how much I managed to make. $120.62, pretty much. Or $119.62. So that's actually not too bad, not too shabby. It's probably really blurry. Yeah, there it goes. That's it right there. So not too bad. Uh, it was about 11 hours-ish. Normally, $120 like I made today, I would make that in about 6 hours. Typically. Today was slow as shit. Like, it's the slowest day. That's why I'm saying it's very, very unpredictable what kind of day you're going to get when you're doing Uber. You really have to just take that into account. So, that's pretty much it. Normally, I'll, I'll work for 6 hours and I'll make 100 bucks and I'll call it quits right there and go home. But um, today sucked. <laughs> so if you really do stick on it and you really do work like 40 hours a week, then you can make this a full-time job. I mean, it definitely is, is worth it, especially like uh, where I came from. Um, I came from Disney. I was working the call center at Disney, and I ultimately wasn't really happy with that job because it was a lot of like a lot of stress like you would think that you know working for disney would be like you know a happy place filled with just imagine and and magical shit but it's it's literally like it's the most stressful job i've ever had in my life it got me to the point where i was literally like going on my brakes to go cry in my car like it was that bad like i i never felt so miserable in my life and i'm so glad that i found uber because I've only been doing Uber Eats. I never have people in my car ever. All right. This is strictly money that I've made only doing the Uber Eats. And I am the happiest that I've been working in actual like a job, you know. And what's cool about Uber is that you can do other shit too. Like you don't have to just focus on just only Uber. You can go sell some shit on eBay or like work on your YouTube channel or you know, work on actual things that you want to do other than just work a fucking job, you know, because everybody's goal in life is to find something that they really, truly love to do. And I really encourage you guys to chase that dream. And the best way to do it is with Uber. Like it really is. Um, the downsides with Uber, though. So 
you know the plus side is, is that you can work any schedule you want. You already know that. So the downside to Uber, though, is obviously you're not going to get any crazy benefits or anything like that. So that's stuff that you're going to have to just throw out the window. Um, you don't have benefits. Um, you don't really get anything special. Like you're not going to get any extra gas money. You're not going to get paid per hour. So it's not about how many hours you work. It's literally about you getting work to do. Like it's, they pay you based on your performance. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind because if, if you're really looking for a job that where you can make some serious fucking money, I want to make some cash, then Uber is not the best option because you really have to couple it up with other things. Like if you're doing some side shit on top of doing Uber, then you're gonna be making some money. And if you probably drove people around too and did that, then you'll probably make some extra money too. But I personally don't wanna do that. I don't like people in my car. And at the same time, my fiance would really hate it if I did that. So she really doesn't want no smelly ass people in my car. So it's just like, no, all right. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with Uber. Ultimately, I'm, um, I'm working the schedule I want, and I get to just chill in the car, blasting my music all day. I don't really have to give a shit. Um, just trying to do a quick comparison between this and the last delivery job I had. I used to work at a pizza place. The biggest benefit to working at an actual, like, delivery place, like a pizza place or like a Domino's or something, is that you get paid per hour on top of you making you know, tips for the deliveries and stuff like that. Yeah, so you get your delivery fees and you get also your tips and that's how this works. It's literally off of just delivery fee and tip. So what I've noticed is that the the best deliveries, in my opinion, are always the ones that are very far. So the ones that take you out into the middle of nowhere, like, I, I like that because I like to be able to like explore and see new things and stuff, so it's cool. But what really kills this, when you're doing really well, is when it connects a delivery into another delivery and it just keeps sending you on and on and on back and forth. That is awesome because you are literally making money as you keep driving back and forth. Like, that's awesome. Uh, the biggest downside, though, to the way this process works is that since you are working from anywhere, you have to find um, a place that has a majority of, like, food, you know, like food shops, like a, a big shopping center or something. So if you live in a little little town or something, this is probably not gonna work for you because it has to be in like a city, you know? I live in Tampa, so it's all gonna be, it has to be a city. If you're living in a city, you're gonna have a lot more time, you know, to get more deliveries and, and it'll just be, it'll be better for you, ultimately. But yeah, so just looking at the positives, you got um, work whenever the hell you want and um, you can do, you know, have extra time for anything that you want in your life. You don't have to answer to anybody. You're literally only answering to the customer, which you don't even have to deal with anyway because the majority of the time, it's literally going to the restaurant, saying, hey, I'm picking for Alexis. They give you the food, you drop off the food, have a nice day. Like, it's just literally, like, it's the easiest job I've ever had in my life. Like, super easy. The negatives to it, obviously, you got uh, your gas costs, you gotta pay for your own gas, and you gotta pay for your own maintenance. So these are things to keep in mind. If you're trying to preserve your car, like you got some like kind of rare car that, that you want to preserve, then I wouldn't recommend doing Uber, but I don't know. Honestly, like, what does it matter anymore? Like, why would you care about the maintenance of your car and all that shit when you can easily just like trade this bitch in for another one? You know what I mean? So like, fuck all that. It's not even worth it to, to keep a car anymore. That's what I think about Uber. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. I'm looking to do some more vloggy kind of videos like this. So, uh, yeah, hope this was helpful. Anyway, later, guys.